How can you build a prompt in five steps? Welcome to Salesforce Admins Innovate with Prompt Builder. I'm your host, Ella Marks, and today I'll be walking you through the five steps you can follow to build and deploy prompts with Prompt Builder. Let's dive in. As a Salesforce admin, when you approach building any solution in Salesforce, there are steps that you will typically follow. When building with Prompt Builder, you can follow a lot of the same steps and use your Salesforce skills to help you build and deploy solutions. Let's walk through all five of these steps. Understand your business problem, create your prompt template, ground with your CRM data, fine tune your prompt, and test and deploy. Let's start with understand the business problem. First, like with any solution you're building in Salesforce, start by talking to your users to understand the business problem. You wanna ask them questions to understand how they're using Salesforce. Remember the five questions you can ask your users to uncover opportunities to use AI in your organization? Well, many of these questions are going to be similar. You'll ask your users questions like, what are your pain points? What is the current process? or what data is important for your stakeholders. Asking questions is what's going to give us a better understanding of how our users are using the platform and how you can build a solution that supports their needs. There are many more questions we can ask, but ultimately what we're trying to uncover here is if there are any repetitive tasks that are causing frustration, we wanna understand who's being impacted by existing processes, and if there's any data your users are missing that they wish that they had. Once you understand the business problem, step two is going to be to create your prompt template. Remember, your prompt template is essentially a reusable prompt, so you can use any of those types of prompt templates that you can create in Salesforce, whether it's a sales email, field generation, record summary, or flex template. Once you identify the right template for your use case, then you can start writing your prompt. Remember to provide clear and concise instructions to guide the model and specify the format for your output based on the use case you're trying to solve for. The more clear and concise your prompt is, the more likely it is to return a relevant response. Step three is grounding your prompt in Salesforce data. Now, what we're really doing here is adding the relevant data and context to our prompts to generate a more relevant response. So you can use the resource pick list in Prompt Builder to securely access Salesforce data through merge fields, flows, data cloud, and even use your external data. Grounding prompts in your data is what's going to make them so much more valuable for your users and their particular use cases. We covered this in more detail in our last video, Design Prompts Grounded in Your Data. So now you've uncovered a business problem, created your prompt template, you've grounded it, what's next? Well, it's time for step four to fine tune your prompt. In the Prompt Builder workspace, you have the ability to test and preview your prompt and generated response. You can quickly modify your prompt, save and use prompt template versions, and even change your large language model configurations. Once you're pleased with the results you're seeing in your preview window, you can move to testing and deploying your prompt. But remember, even if your prompt looks perfect in Prompt Builder, there always needs to be a human in the loop reviewing all of your generative AI outputs for accuracy. Now, fine-tuning prompts is a new concept. So let's take a closer look at how we can fine-tune our prompts in Prompt Builder. Here, we're looking at a field generation prompt template. At the top is our prompt template workspace where we can write our prompts. The resource picker here is where you can add those merge fields and ground your prompt in your data. Now, here at the bottom of the page, you'll see your preview window. On the right here, you can select the record you wanna to use to preview your template and in this resolution window, you can review the completed prompt that's generated from your prompt template. Now here in the response, this is where you can see the text that's been generated. When you're fine tuning your prompt, make sure you're always selecting a record to test and generate a response. That's how you'll use that response to fine tune your prompt if needed to get that desired output. In the next video in our series, we'll walk through this in more detail. Once you've fine-tuned your prompt, it's time for step five, test and deploy. Here you can use all of your Salesforce admin skills to follow deployment and testing best practices. There are a few key things to remember. Never deploy directly in production, always test in a sandbox first. Make sure your users are a part of your testing process. So once you've activated your prompt, you'll wanna share that with your key stakeholders. 
it can be really helpful to start with a group of super users to gather their feedback on the solution. They can also help you drive broader adoption of this solution later on. There's a great episode of the Salesforce Admins podcast where you can hear an awesome admin describe how she rolled out Prompt Builder to her users. So make sure to check that out. We just walked through the five steps you can follow to build and deploy prompts. To continue learning, check out these resources. Watch our next video to see Prompt Builder in action. You'll see how you can use a field generation template to summarize customer feedback. Don't forget to check out this podcast episode to see how an awesome admin enabled Prompt Builder in her org and shared it with her organization. And finally, get hands on with Prompt Builder. Show us what you built with Einstein. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time in the cloud. Awesome admin.